Hi, I'm Ryan Tuck from Fit for a King, and this is my gear story. As a bass player, as long as I can remember, I always wanted a Stingray. And uh, back in 2015, I was lucky enough to uh, join the Ernie Ball family. With joining Music Man, I made two basses off the jump. I got a classic white Stingray, and I made this custom Stingray in a matte green finish, forest green finish. And after playing it for a few years, in 2018, they actually put out this production model. And while at NAMM, my rep told me, oh, look, see that guy over there? That's the gentleman who thought it would be a good idea to turn your bass into a production model. So they took this matte finish and they gave it a little bit more of a uh, sparkle and I think it looks at a little bit of a gloss, I guess, if you will. And uh, I think it looks gorgeous. So kind of as a young kid dreaming of just playing Stingrays in general, you never really thought you'd have uh, any sort of small uh, impact or anything to do with the production of some of their bases. So getting to see that come out um, was really special for me and meant a lot. So uh, another fun fact about this bass for Fit for a King fans is uh, I guess my first viral video on the internet was this guitar going flying at Warp Tour in 2017. And uh, it took a few dings, nice hit to the body here and here and uh, little little action on the headstock. But um, other than it going viral and being hilarious because it did um, <laughs> end up flying like 30 feet, I, uh, I've always said that I think that it's a testament to the Stingray build. Uh, like find me another guitar that you can literally throw as hard as you can, like 30 feet into the air, it hits headstock first, and it's fine. It just needed a setup and it was okay. And luckily, Ernie Ball was there on Warp Tour as one of the sponsors. So Robert Ochoa, one of the builders who was there at the time, uh, helped me out and gave it a, a new setup. So it was a pretty, pretty gnarly time, but came out, came out okay. Well, Alto, thanks for having me today. That was my gear story and I'm sticking to it.